The first texture that we're going to make is the figure of 8. Figure of 8 because we will follow the pattern on how we write the number 8. Alright, let me just draw a circle first. To execute this properly, you need to pull back on the trigger just a tiny little bit, just like what we used to in making fine lines. Slowly build up the paint layer by layer. That is very important, so your long patience is required here. But you don't need to always follow the figure of 8. Sometimes you just have to shake your hand. This technique is what I use to make a realistic skin texture like what I did on these paintings. And also at the bottom of the eye, as you can see here. next texture that we're going to make is the zigzag or the series of X pattern. So you're painting like making an X like this. Okay. But instead of turning off the trigger, you're continuously painting it until you make the X pattern. Okay. Continuous paint. All right. Okay, first let me create a rectangle here. Zigzag pattern is useful for the textures that has some sort of directions, like at the bottom of this eye. It's a combination of zigzag and some of lateral movements. This is also useful for making a wood texture. This is what I used on my leopard painting. And the last texture on our list is the bouncing airbrush. Okay. Imagine a bouncing ball. Just mimic that. See how it bounced from one spot to another. Okay. So that's the texture here that I'm going to show you. the grain texture. I use this on my Jason Momo painting, especially on creating his tattoo. This is also useful for making the texture of the skin on the nose part like on this picture. Here it's obvious that you can also use this for making a stone, sand, or anything that has some sort of grainy textures. If you've noticed, I also use the blending method to blend the textures. This makes a further realism. For you to practice this and at the same time make an art, 
I suggest that you try to paint a black and white apple. I'm sure that on this subject you can use all of these three textures that you have learned. It's a simple subject and most importantly, it's achievable for beginners. The best way to learn the airbrush is by practicing. Do it regularly and apply it to your artworks. You will thank me for this later when you've realized how it works and when you've already made a photorealistic artwork. So good luck guys, see you again next Saturday for another tutorial. Bye for now, salute.